I have talked in depth about burn growth and burn mass in my book. So if you want, you can check that out. And also, I'm not promoting any drugs in this video and no medical advice was mentioned in this video. Now, these days, MK is trending and literally every other teenager is taking it. But most of you who have been watching my channel for a long time know that I talked about it way, way before the hype and people were saying it's some sort of steroid and stuff. Uh, which is funny because it's not even close to being a steroid or some high level muscle building drug. And I will describe what it actually is and how it can help you grow taller if done the right way along with, with other protocols. Now, first of all, you need to understand that the hormone responsible for making you grow taller and lengthening your bone tissues is growth hormone and IG form. Now, your body produces growth hormone naturally just like it does with testosterone but in most of the cases your body fails to do that for many reasons maybe because you weren't athletic enough when you were a kid or maybe it's the diet or maybe it's a birth defect leading to short stature now comes the second step you need to increase your growth hormone to make up for your lack of growth you can do that naturally by doing a variation of these exercises like sprinting up the hill jumping and fasting but to be very honest with you um, of someone who has tried these things uh, and done all sorts of tests to check if my growth hormone was increased the effects of natural protocols isn't even isn't even like 30 percent of what your body needs to grow taller yeah of course these protocols and exercises will help you maximize the results and you have to combine them but it's not but it won't skyrocket your gh levels so what to do now now you have to use some protocol to pump your gh to pump your gh levels and you can either take exogenous growth hormone directly or you can use something like mk677 now what is mk677 well uh, let's say you don't want to take exogenous growth hormone because you're scared of needles or you don't have lots of cash because growth hormone treatment can be very very expensive so you need something that mimics gh in your body without inje injecting growth hormone directly into your blood now mk does that by mimicking the ghrelin receptor which is responsible is, is responsible for hunger which then leads to increased in, in, in an increased amounts of gh levels so you're getting growth hormone without directly injecting it and super super cheap now there are some side effects to mk677 of course like every other you know drug or something like it might cause insulin resistance in your body and increase cortisol which does stress hormone uh, in your brain and and it will make you very anxious and depressed so what i recommend is that you take it before you go to sleep you will have super super relaxed sleep your mind will be clear and you will have a deep sleep because when you sleep your body is already in the state of recovery and releases without mk677 now growth hormone injections are are measured by iu and and an average short stage kid needs around two to three ius of growth hormone every day and according to research and experiments MK677 leads to an increase of 2 to 3 IUs of growth, of growth hormone. <clears throat> now, the question is, does it increase height? Yes, especially if you're under 20. But for some people, it has also worked at age of 22. Possibly because their growth plates fused in their early 20s instead of their teenage years. And you can try a lot of protocol methods and exercises combined with MK677 which I've mentioned in my book, so you can check that link in the description. All right, guys, that was for today's video. I hope you learned something new and out of it, and make sure you drop a like and subscribe.